Eat with shot. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, can I thank you of the House for announcing the business for next week? And can I also welcome International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biphobia and, of course, Mental Health Awareness yeah. Week? In Scotland last week, Mr. Speaker, we had the tragic death of Scott Hutchison, the lead singer of the wonderful Frightened Rabbits. And his loss has galvanised all of Scotland and has helped to refocus attention on young male suicide. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Scotland has lost too many of its great artists to suicide. And Scott, thank you for your wonderful, inspiring music. You will be sorely missed. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, we're going to have to find an awful lot of time for these Lords Amendments to the Repeal Bill. That's an unprecedented 15 times that this government has been defeated at the hands of the gallant troops and airmen down the corridor. So <laughs> can, can we get some sort of assurance that all of these amendments won't just be simply lumped together. I hear yep. that the government has considered and then the amendments will be put forward. But it's important that no debate is curtailed. These government defeats means that for the first time in this House, we will have meaningful votes on the single market in this government's customs arrangements. What we do not want is this government reverting to type to try and close down debate and stop votes happening in this House. Yep. We need a guarantee and certainty that that won't happen today. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and on this, and I agree totally with the, the Shadow of the House about the progress of the Boundaries Bill. After our comfortable outing last week trying to defend this, it's now time to just ensure that we get that money resolution, because yeah. this is not going to go away from this government. And lastly, Mr Speaker, it's totally surprising that we've had no statement from the government on the Scottish Parliament withholding uh, its legislative consent on the repeal bill. I don't know, maybe it's got something to do with the fact that the Conservatives were totally isolated in the 1990s in opposing the development and the coming of the Scottish Parliament, and now they are totally isolated in defending its powers today. And just look at them, Ruth's Scottish Tories have now become treasonous, hard Brexit, devolution threatening, lobby for their Tories, and it's absolutely no wonder and no surprise that there's all sorts of predictions of another wipeout and demise of the Scottish Conservatives today. Yeah. Yeah.